What's going on y'all, it's the Kid J. Nolan here. Hey man, before we get into anything in this video, make sure that you like and share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get all updates, hit the post notification bell. All right y'all, let's get into it. What up y'all, as y'all know, I've been talking about this whole AI musical frontier. We've all been looking at it on the landscape of what's to come. You know what I'm saying? What is this going to look like down the pipeline? There's a lot of artists, labels, etc. that are not feeling it. Grimes came out and talked about how she's 100% for it and is even willing to share 50% royalties on any successful record that features an AI uh, version, sample, or whatever the f you want to call it of herself. She's willing to split share on that. However, we have the quote unquote concerned dad that came out and he's speaking about the dangers of AI beyond music. Now, Somebody can take my voice mm -hmm. and, and, and no, somebody can take my voice and admit to a crime. Oh, shoot. I ain't even thinking that Like, way. yeah, that's what I'm saying. We worried about the wrong thing. We're about Drake. I was going to say the kidnapping Somebody thing. can take my voice, call my kids, say, hey, this is your dad. Come outside and open the door for me. And my kids will open the door because they heard daddy's voice. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, we're worrying about Drake voice be and Drake being pissed off. See, this is stuff that I'm talking about that sound, this is the black daddy. <laughs> like black daddy is thinking about daddy stuff and i think we're more worried about the weekend has a voice and he sounds like michael jackson i'd be way we way more worried about uh, ai tamira saying and i killed that dude in buckhead and that was me that <laughs> shot them and then people like here's her confession and you're like that wasn't me that's the scary part about this now this so-called uh concerned dad is also known as ray daniels he's a music executive in the industry a and r He's helped a lot of artists that have gotten signed, went on to be successful artists in the industry, or at least a few that we know of. Rock City, the name, one specifically that everyone knows of. During his podcast, which is called The God Show, I actually follow Ray Daniels. I saw this on my feed earlier. Very surprised that The Shade Room and other social media drama pages picked up on this because it's not really anything drama or negative about it. He's just talking about how he believes that AI can and possibly will be used for something more diabolical than just taking someone's voice for a song. He's wondering about the impact of whether or not somebody might use his voice to try to entice his daughter, to use his voice for an important phone call, to fool somebody in his family, to trick them into thinking that it's him saying, hey, come outside, I'm waiting on you, I'm about to take you somewhere. And then his child comes out the, out the house, not knowing that it's not really her father on the phone and somebody comes snatching him up. Unfortunately, I think this puts a, a very bad idea out into the cosmos. Um, as the government says, bad actors. I think that this is gonna influence some bad actors out there that may not have already thought about this idea to figure out how to implement it into a phone call. I think there's some idiots out there that were possibly already considering this as an option. But unfortunately, this is something that somebody's gonna try at some point. I don't know how they're gonna get it to talk into the phone. You know, I guess you could do like a recording from the computer and play it through the speaker or something like that. You know, you're not going to hear the person as clearly as you possibly could. But up until you can actually do something distinguishable with your own speaking voice without a recording, you know, processing it into somebody else's voice. But I think that he's actually well intentioned with his concern. I think this is something that needs to be considered. I think this is something that definitely uh, Congress and the government at large needs to be considering as well. There's a lot more AI out there than just voice modulation and musical manipulation and stuff like that. There's a lot of actual helpful AI out there that can help people um, set up strategies and processes for your workflow that are positive. I think we should try to focus more on that. I don't know why they're trying to automate music so much or automate vocal and voice and you know deep faking people i don't really think that shit is cool i really wish that that wasn't even on the precipice right now but i can't change it but let me know what you guys think of all this down below in the comments is this something that you worry about is this something that you've thought about now that it's actually been placed in front of you to know that this is something that could happen is this going to be a concern for you at some point down the line let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Like I said, be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Much love, respect y'all. Peace. Beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed the content. Make sure that you're liking and sharing these videos. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so you get all updates for all of my artists. 
my artist managers, songwriters, producers, etc. If you need a little bit of extra help with your career, man, make sure that you visit pingameelite.com, okay? That's my website and my community for all upcoming rising music creators. I got two books on there, The Pin Game Portfolio Volume 1 and 2. They're going to give you a lot of insights into the music industry, how to monetize your career, how I make my money off of music because I am a full-time artist outside of doing YouTube videos. If you need some direct help, you can also book a consultation with me on the pin game elite website and i also have a pin game elite membership the free tier gives you access to all of these videos that i post on youtube and a community of people where you can engage but i do have the membership plus okay you can join that for 50 dollars a month or 500 dollars a year and i will actually go in and do all of the grunt work for you if you're not registering your songs on your pros if you're not with song trust or the mlc if all your collection agencies and all of that stuff are not up to par or up to date, I will go in there and update all of that for you. If you need help uploading your music to a distributor like DistroKid, United Masters, etc., and you've been making mistakes, you've been claiming content ID on material that you really don't own, hey man, stop stealing people's money. If you do this stuff the right way, you're gonna make it anyway, okay? You can join the membership plus, and again, I will do the work for you, and you're gonna get a free consultation every month just for joining. You're also gonna get the two books for free soon as you join the membership plus. All right. Much love and respect. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.